question that I'm wondering. Mm. Does the external appearance of the grave of the normal Muslims indicate their internal condition? And does the Holy Prophet والسلام, appear in the graves of believers in the appearance of the Shaykh? Bismillah uh, ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Grave of normal Muslims? There was a time that generally what is outside is also what is inside, generally. For a minority, what is outside, it doesn't fit with what is inside. What is inside doesn't fit with what is outside. Do you understand? In the time of the Ottomans, even from the outside, there are signs, and they will teach you what those signs are. If this one is a munafiq, this one is a believer, this one is a friend of Allah, this one is a salihin. This one is belonging to a tariqat. Which position is he in that tariqat? There are signs. And people can recognize there is no confusion. Generally. That era finished. Now we enter into the era of dark darkness of uh, clouds, you understand, this covering, so you cannot see, as Shah Afani said so much, you will see who is ahead, if it's a horse or a donkey, when the dust settles, now the dust is still everywhere, so you can't see, it is unclear, so yes, generally in the old days, uh, the maqam of the high-level saints, for instance, it is reflected in the architecture, generally. But it doesn't mean that every maqam that has a big architecture around it is also a beloved of Allah, but generally it is. That there are also saints that they don't have big architecture of the maqam, those are hidden ones but they are secret and they are very powerful. But it is also known. Those hidden ones, it's not as if they are hidden. You just don't show. But people who know, they know. You understand? Now it's a little bit different. Now, <coughs> it is according to the permission and according to authority. When it is necessary, the graves of, let's talk about Eulias. If it's necessary, it will be hidden. If it's necessary, it will be very big and open. Now we come to the point where because the ship is sinking, everyone now is not going to go according to the protocol of when you are entering into the ship, when the ship is not sinking. Do you understand? Now the protocol has to change because the situation has changed. Mm, so there are so many, you think from the outside, the way they built their graves, mashallah, these must be very holy ones, beloved by Allah. But you see, these ones are the ones that they don't even believe in Allah. You see people going to that maqam, to ask and to pray and to talk to it as if it's alive. Well, Sheriff Andy is saying, but the screams that one is making in the grave, even shaitan is running away from that. So in these days, you need more the vision of the awliyaullah to know. Because black is white, and white is black. And the time will come when the Sheikh is going to point to the black wall behind him and say this is white but you know that it is black the whole world saying it's black all these years but he's going to say it is white that time what you gonna do but that is the vision of truth coming from the shah black is white and white is black so normal muslims now 
forget about the architecture. We hope and pray that we are buried as Muslims. So many, even in Muslim countries, because they have so much envy from non-Muslim countries too, they want to get buried the way that other people are getting buried. They get jealous, some saying, I have to be buried in a coffin too. There are Muslims getting buried in coffins now. Yeah, they put ayats and everything, but they get very um, jealous. So, yet there are some that are so humble. The world looks at them as if they are just normal, regular Muslims, but they're so humble. And they're just buried in a humble grave that is common. Like recently, I saw a report. They're building this highway near Malaysia. And they dig up this grave. And it's, ov it's over three years old. It's pretty recent, three years old. They dig it up. There's a husband and wife next to each other. And everything is still intact. And even the coffin, the, the um, white shroud, is clean and pure. And their bodies are still soft. Earth is forbidden to touch them. This is in the tropics. This is not somewhere in the deserts where it's so dry, you may say, or oh, scientific explanation, this or that. They say this man, he was just a Quran teacher. Humble, simple. So, we are asking that we die in a good way, we are buried in a good way. Inshallah Rahman. The second question, asking if the Prophet والسلام, can appear as your shaykh in your grave. Of course he can. The Prophet والسلام, is appearing as our shaykh. Not only in the grave, but outside the grave in our life. Because those ones, they are representing the Prophet والسلام, They have disappeared in his oceans and they're bringing his light to us. So it is possible. How is it possible? As much as you are with your share, when you're alive, that much you will be with him. When you're in your grave, that much you'll be with him in the hereafter. You will be with the one that you love. Make sure you don't love your problems more. Make sure you don't love your children or your wives of this dunya more. These days, Allah has removed the mercy. People don't love the ones they're supposed to love. They love anger and hate and disease and complaining more. They love the haram more. That is what is occupying more. It should not be, inshallah. You should know what it is and learn how to control it. Assalamu alaikum.